to use my imagination. You know, it's a blessing to have imagination, right? Because uh, I've grown to understand, you know what I'm saying, that imagination is everything. It's a preview to life coming attraction. So to be blessed to be in the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to have imagination, man, that's a, that's a blessing. That's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because that means I'm getting the proper opportunity to, to get a little preview, you know what I'm saying, of a com coming attraction or whatever. So anywho, at a young age, I was blessed with a unique talent. To be able to look at things and draw. I was always, you know what I'm saying, a peculiar little dude, right? And growing up in conditions where some people will call poor, I never I never accepted that. You know what I'm saying? I never accepted that. I remember when my mother told me one day, it was like, we poor. And I was like, who poor? Like, shit, don't say that we ain't poor. And I don't know if me going at her like that changed her perspective, man, but my mother became, you know what I'm saying, a heavy role model in my life of work ethic. Anybody that known her, you know what I'm saying, known that shawty put in work, man, she worked, she worked. She took care of her three boys, you know what I'm saying? My father rolled out. My mother ain't had no choice. She said, he took care of everything. I didn't know how to be independent. So I had to learn quick, you know what I'm saying? And then I started taking care of my responsibilities. Well, she said, I wasn't always married. I was single before. So these things, you know what I'm saying? I take in and I lock in as mental notes, you know what I'm saying? So she said, I knew how to take care of my bills and all that type of stuff. But when we got together, he held down to everything, took care of everything, right? So when he left her, he left her kind of butt naked. So she had to start all over, recap. But God work in mysterious ways, man. What the devil mean for evil, God gonna flip around and turn to good. Because when she was with him, they wasn't doing that good. It was a blessing that he left. At least that's what I understood. I mean, I paid attention when he was around. We ain't had no car. They was getting around town on 10 speed bikes. I'm talking about they was biking all the way to the, to the airport and back. Like, that was just wreck. So that's probably why I ain't mind walking. I mean, I don't mind beating my feet for real, but you know, the streets messed up, so you know, you gotta be on, you gotta peep your, your moves. You can't just move around like you used to. But one point in time in life, yeah, we'll walk all the way from Southeast to downtown. We was used to it. So when he rolled out, I seen an upgrade to life, not a downgrade. So I was cool with it. The other people had their emotions. I just knew how to channel it and use it to my advantage. So I was smooth with it. You see, I peep game, I noticed the change in things, like when he rolled out, so did the bikes, because mom's upgraded and got her a little hoopy. It wasn't much, but it was hers, so we was cool with it. In time, stacking bread, learn how to save, then she upgraded, got something fresh off the lot. Thought she was doing big things, even though it was a small car, it was her own, so she was proud of herself, and I seen what she mean. No matter big or small the accomplishment, you still gotta show gratitude. So my mama taught me things that she didn't know she was teaching me. So that's another thing that I took with myself, that mental, to lock in. Cause I seen when she was grateful for what she had, God gave her more, she started upgrading things. Like we went from that two complex apartment around Rose Park, right next to 51 Liquors. We thought we made it, we moved around Heaven Hills. We got a pool, a playground, a big neighborhood to ride our bikes around. Oh yeah, we was doing it. Yeah, we had space now. Our room was big as shit. I mean, it was three still in one room, but we was cool with it. We was brothers and we was with our mother, so you know, hey. We made it do what it do. However we did it. So my mom always worked jobs, and like I said, as stated before, if you've been following my story, it was me and my brothers, you know what I'm saying, our own moves, finding our own glory. Being young, you'll just like, want that situation. At least that's what all the little homies did. 
They like, y'all got it made. Your moms ain't never home. Y'all get to do whatever you want. Yeah, it kind of seem that way, don't it? Yeah. It ain't really all what it's cracked up to be. Like you did. Like, I was different, man. I knew I had something in me. I wanted guidance. I wanted a father to correct me when I was wrong and guide me right. But, you know, God says some things you got to do on your own, and I'm your real father, so you'll be all right. Yeah. Now that I see, now that I'm older, and I got to see the light. This entire time I was traveling this earth, God ain't never left my side, and that's all right. So when you see me saying God is good and I'm smiling from ear to ear, man, I mean that from the inside out. If you knew what I've been through, man, you'd be saying it out your mouth. So anyway, I decided to make my way down here, right? Because it's this voice that keeps ringing in my head and I just can't get it out my ear, right? It's beautiful. It got an accent. I'm talking about it sound real tight. It's like every time I hear that voice, it's like if I'm slipping, it make me get right. But the voice was like, don't forget the dream. And at a time in my life, it's like I really need to hear that line, but I still ain't get it. At least not that night. You know, it's been going on and on in my head and I just can't get it loose. I can't shake it. What you trying to tell me, Lord? I'm right here. I'm listening. Then a light bulb went off in my head while I kept hearing the words. Um, you ain't lunching. You ain't tripping. Don't forget the dream. That was the main mission. See, when I was sitting in that cell, that's all I could do was dream. Because I knew when these gates opened, I ain't had no time to be slacking. Yeah, them composition books, the same ones I made the jokes about. I was using the front of the book. You talking about line to line, getting my thoughts out. Yeah, I was making plans. I was even putting pictures on my wall, kind of sorting my life out. This before I really got knowledge. I was making vision boards and I didn't even know, but thank God I found out. So when I heard that voice, don't forget the dream. At a time that I'm in isolation, now I'm starting to see what that's all about. Take me back when I was young, when Graham said, you got a little influence, man, don't use it wrong. So now I know what she's talking about. See, people look up to you and you got to be careful because eyes is always on you. So you don't know what you're doing, right? So you got to make every move your best move. And I'm talking about your right move because somebody got you in their sights. So when she said, keep the dream alive, I said, oh, that's right. When I was sitting in that cell, I wasn't trying to come home to be no social media star. I wasn't trying to run for no clout. I just wanted to inspire the guys. Because I spent years in that prison along with a lot of other guys. We was writing in our journals. We were saying what we was going to do when we got on the other side. But I knew a lot of times when people are incarcerated, they make a lot of dreams, but they don't keep up with it. I ain't want to be enough statistic just to be a bama sitting behind the cell wall just talking about it. Every time you see me, I was running my mouth about it. I wasn't in my cell. I was always out there in the world because I was living through a vision about it. So when I think, don't forget the dream, I got to think back when I was sitting in that cell and what it mean. I got to tap back into my shit. Forget what everybody's saying. So when I see the little youngest take my ideas and run with it, I'm happy. That's why I supported the brand. Don't tell nobody, but we know where that came from. That's between me and you. Because we men. I ain't forget the dream. So don't ever think anything been stolen. That's what I was supposed to do, man. Some people got it, some didn't. That's all between y'all and God, man. I was sitting here right between y'all laps. In y'all eyesight so y'all can see the bigger picture. Because every time I was around, y'all was saying stuff, but some of y'all wasn't listening. I ain't even really know what was going on. I just knew when God talked, I listened. When he say move, I move. Not even understanding the mission. I guess I am a no limit soldier. My shit just hit a little different. So thinking back to the dream, man, that's what it was all about. Keep the focus on the bigger picture, man, and off the clout. 
when you get on the internet, your followers came here to see what you was about. So make sure you don't let them leave your page in any type of doubt. So if you go up and down my page in some way, shape, or form, I was trying to get some inspiration along the way. Whether it was with my quotes or with the songs, I know I was doing my part. A lot of people horses, you know, you can lead them to the water, but you just can't make them drink. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Life is good when you really take time and just think about it.